live on Facebook. So let's see how we're doing here. There we go. Woohoo. Okay. Well, hello, hello. Let's start out with, um, let's see, Josette said, my win is to have another event on Saturday. Everyone is trying to help me reach my goal, my life at the party goal. Good job, Josette. Woohoo. That's amazing. That's a great, great goal. <laughs> Sorry, still trying to get everybody hooked up here. <laughs> Hi, let's see. Who else do we have here? Oh, why did it do that? Oh, don't do that. Okay, anybody have any wins? Let's talk about that. Any wins from anyone on Facebook or yeah, yeah. I, no. I I do. I um I've been getting more sales because of doing posting more album sales. Usually I don't, but I had some health issues and I couldn't go live, so I just been doing a lot of album sales. So that's great. Great. If it works, it's good. Is that Kara? Is that correct? Is that Kara? Yeah. Yeah. Good for you. That's a great win. That's a big celebration win, isn't it? That's right. Okay, Virginia, Thank next. You. Sweet, sweetheart. I have a new consultant signing up later. Yes. Um, but I learned a super valuable lesson in talking to her over the weekend. What is um, that? I, I never... I, or I really don't put it out there to join. You know, I don't really mention a whole lot. The way that I've always done it is just, you know, I, I kind of introduce the idea and I talk to other consultants and we kind of, you know, bring it all together. And so people are interested, but I've never posted anything on my page about joining. Um, I never have done an opportunity knocks, never. And she said that, she had been watching this for several of my lives and talked to her husband and said she needs to join and um, because they, they want an extra income. And she had to save my lives so she could go back and figure out what needs to be done to join, what it requires. And I never talk about that. And so I was like, I need to learn how to you know, do an opportunity knocks and post about what it takes, you know, what to, how to sign up. I don't even post how to sign up. <laughs> well, Virginia, that's a great lesson for all of us because we're all like that. We do. We just get on and you get in your routine and sometimes we're afraid to talk about the opportunity, but there's people out there that want the opportunity. <laughs> yes. Yeah, so good job. That was a great lesson. So what are you going to do to change that, sweetheart? Uh, start posting on a regular and I'm going to do an opportunity knock at least um, once every other week, I think. Okay, can I make a suggestion? Sure. Set up a schedule. Okay. Eric Corey talked about this today. Declare to the world. So say every first and third Monday of the week, I'm or every first and third Wednesday, I'm going to do this at this time. So it's out there, then you know to stick by it. Mm -hmm. And, um, and maybe twice a week, do a post and decide, make it specific. When you say Tuesday and Thursday, I'm going to put a post, then you know, Tuesday before you go to bed, you got to get that post done. Okay. Is that okay? We'll sure, we will do. Perfect. Perfect. Well, is Sedaria on today? I'm looking for, let's see here. Mama Frank, um, uh, please allow me to interject. She did send a message uh, last minute. She needed a cover. I couldn't, I'm at the schoolhouse. But, that's okay. Uh, it was, I could do it. It was great. Nice. Today so was done. five minutes, you guys. It was awesome, wasn't it, Tanya? Yes, it was awesome. Oh, okay. I haven't looked at my messages, so thank you very much. 
Um, okay, anybody else? Let's see, I'm looking on Facebook. They're saying hi, hi. Um, inviting some people. Welcome, welcome. Oh, shoot, I just went out of it. Darn it, why did I do that? There we go. Um, perfect. Okay, thank you, Tanya, for the message. I appreciate it. Let's see, we've got a couple of chats here. Um, oh, Josette said that she has another event on Saturday. That's great. Okay, cool. Good job. Um, that's a big win too. So yesterday we had an assignment. Let's see, I want to go over it really quick. We had to decide what we're going to do to change our week for seven days. Um, um, let's see, it says number one, you need to decide what your intentions are. Number two, let the world, make sure the world knows about it. And number three, employ yourself like you were a boss. So that was yesterday. That was part one. Today is part two. So I just wanted to review that. Hello, Ashley and, and Brenda Lynn and Jamie and Brenda and Carlinda from, from Facebook. We want to welcome you there. I have my Facebook up here and my computer down here. So sometimes it looks like I'm looking up in the sky. So I apologize about that. So I'll pull it down so I don't look like I'm looking up there all the time. Yes. Okay. So today. Um, Today is part two of, okay, today was part two of creating an accountability system. So he really talked about how um, we need to, we need to really get a system out there. Like I said to um, Virginia, what's your system? Okay. I want to do it twice a month and, and I want to do this. I want to do that. But unless you have specifics, you don't get it. I don't get it done. I don't. So I know that I've got a post twice a month and I want to do an opportunity call twice a month, but how am I going to do it? And if you're like me, the end of the month is here and it's gone. So he suggested that you got to say the words. If you talk it, you know, sometimes, okay, so th this is, he, he nailed me on the head when he talked today. Cause, cause if you say, oh, I'm going to do an accountability, um, uh, an opportunity like twice a month. And then if I don't get it done, then I'm kind of embarrassed. So it's easier just to say, Think in your mind, okay, tomorrow I'm going to do an accountability live and get it done. Because then you're not embarrassed that you said something and you didn't live up to it. But he said the external world is strong. Mm -hmm. And we need to use that. We need to utilize that to be able to make us better. So he said, um, avoidance <laughs> is... Okay. Okay. So yesterday we talked about if mama Frank moved in with you and you said, I'm going to do two accountability lives and I'm going to post twice a week. And I'm sitting there on your couch, following you around all day. You're going to be like, Oh, she's going to watch me and I got to make sure I get this done and we're going to get it done. <laughs> so, so if you put it down and do it, then it's easy. If you put it on your calendar, you know, you just got to get it done by Tuesday before you go to bed and get her done. So um, if I were there at your house and I'm your boss and you didn't get that accountability done by Tuesday, you might get fired. If you're in a, in a job and you your job is to do two accountability lives a month and then post twice a week and you don't get those done, we don't have our job. Our job goes away. You get fired. So be your boss. The problem with owning your own business, the problem with entrepreneurship is if we don't get it done, we could do it tomorrow. Mm -hmm. But tomorrow never comes. It's like a Saturday every day. Really? I mean, if you don't set up rules and regulations and systems, Nothing gets done because there's always tomorrow. There's always tomorrow. And you get to the end of the month and you didn't get anything done. So he said external 
is strong. So he wants you to get an accountability partner. He talked about a family, a friend, um, send a message to your team, whatever it is. So decide what you're going to do for the next seven days that's just going to push it just a little bit more than what you do. Do a little bit more, a little bit more, a little bit more. Decide what that is. Write it down. Because if it's in your head, it's just a thought. So write it down, but tell the world. That's his number one. Tell the world. So identify and strengthen the things that will cause you to do more, which is post it on Facebook. Tell your friends, send a message to everybody on your team. <laughs> I'm, I'm scared to do this. Send a message to people on your team and say, in the next seven days, I'm going to do this. Please hold me accountable. I went to Eric Quarry's mastermind in Las Vegas last year. And he said, I want you to write down on a piece of paper what you want to be one year from today, how much money you want to make, what rank you want to be, how many team members you want, what your sales want to be, write those things down. So we wrote those down. And then he said, write a letter that says, dear blank, I am debt setter, make this much money, this rank, blah, 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 by September of 2023 please hold me accountable. So he had us add the paragraph at the top and the paragraph at the bottom. Please hold me accountable. Love Robin. And then he said, where you wrote dear, after we did these things, then he said, right, dear, your founder, dear Trent Kirby, I'm going to be jet setter. I'm going to make this much money. I'm going to have this much in sales. I'm going to have this many team members. Please hold me accountable. Love, Robin. And he was going to send that letter to Trent Kirby. He had us address it. Would you change your business if you knew Trent Kirby was going to hold you accountable? So proclaim to the world. This week, I will do this. Send a message to your team. In the next seven days, I will do this. Please hold me accountable. Tell your family, please. I just need seven days. Um, I'm going to do this in the next seven days. Please hold me accountable. Now, if you have kids and your kids didn't do their homework, what would you do? They'd be in trouble, wouldn't they? So tell your kids, if I don't get this done, it's like you doing your homework. You can punish me. Is that going to work? You betcha. Um, unless he says, unless I'm sitting with you to force you to do it, you probably won't do it. So if I'm not actually sitting right there with you, we find things to rationalize in our brain to do something different. So don't be afraid. Don't be embarrassed. Do it, do it, do it. Get an accountability partner. It can be somebody on social media. It can be a team member, a family, a company, a friend. But that external accountability can help you get it done. But then, here's the last part of this. When you accomplish it, you got to celebrate. So decide, once I get this done, what am I going to do? I'm going to go to dinner. I'm going to... Go buy me a new outfit. I'm going to go get a massage, whatever it is. And then if you don't get it done, what will happen? So think of the two repercussions. What do you get to do when you celebrate? What if you don't get it done? What are the penalties if you don't get it done? This will change your week. It'll change your month, your year. It'll change your business. So how many, put a, put a five in the comment out there. How many of you want to change your business this year? Put a five in the comments if that's something that you want to do. Who wants to change their business this year? 
Holy cow, I missed my, I lost my, my Facebook. Where did it go? Really? <laughs> Those on Facebook, I'm sorry if you're putting a five in the comment. Valencia did, Connie did. Um, do we really want to change our business? I mean, really? Uh, did I close out the feed? Is anybody on Facebook that can see the feed? I'm sorry. Nope, I'm still there. Good. I don't know what I did. Turn off the volume there. Charmaine, Carlinda, Janet, Bill. Yes, Jay. Okay. That's what we're here for. You need to understand you are the zero, zero, zero point zero zero one percent of paparazzi here because you want to grow. You want to change. If not, you wouldn't be here. Many people want to be here, but they don't. They can't. Things come up. They can't make it. That's okay. I get it. Many people watch it on replay. And if you're watching it on replay, I want you to commit to change your business for the next seven days. Make a plan. Declare it to the world and get someone that you have to talk to every single day to hold you accountable. Change your business. Change your life. So there's your assignment. Your assignment is, is um, find someone to be an accountability partner. And what are you going to do to change your business for seven days, just seven days? Find that accountability partner. Okay. Anybody have any questions? Hey, Sue, Sharon, Opal, I see you guys. Janet, Charmaine, Sharon. I'm so proud of you because you are trying to do better. And it doesn't have to be ginormous. It can be a little something because if we make it too big, it's too hard and you might not accomplish it. We want to win. We want to accomplish it. So make something little. Like with Virginia, we talked about that. Post it that you're going to do lives twice a month. Decide the date, decide the time, post it, declare it to the world. Any questions? Tanya, if you want to add something that I missed. Valencia, if you want to add something that I missed also, please. Hey, can I make a comment, Robin? Sure. sure. So I just want to share something um, I've been working with Mama Frank with um, is going back to the pen and paper checklist. <laughs> Because like I put it in my head and I know I'm going to do it, but then life happens and I get busy and sidetracked. And so I've been making a checklist of, okay, I need to do this, this, and this today before I can go to bed. And um, so it's working. <laughs> I was up till I past my time that I usually 12 30 in the morning before I could go to bed so um try that see if it works I agree um Robin so you guys probably can't see because it has like a blurry thing so what I did these are like simple time blocking things that I printed off of Canva if you again if you guys don't have Canva there are so many like easy things you don't have to create it just print off something. And although I work like on my lunch break, I will say my, that's my power hour or these are the things. I'm like, Robin said, a lot of times we do and I am good for that. I will have 18 million things in my head. And that first of all, gets me overwhelmed because I got like, oh, I want to be over here. I want to be over there. But when I started like time blocking and saying, okay, this is your time. This is it. You have no more time to do on this. Go to something else. I feel much better. Because a lot of times we want to do so much and we overwhelm ourselves because we really want to spend three hours on something, but learn to cut it off. Tomorrow's a new day. Pick it up where you left off. It's so much less stress when you have a list and you set whatever that time blocking time is, whether you have an hour, just say 15 minutes. When the 15 minutes is up, don't go over the 15 minutes. That's it. Cut it off and move on. So that could definitely help you. Um, be more accountable and be less stressed because there are a lot of things you can be doing. That doesn't mean everything has to be done every day 
because it can be, get overwhelming and then you do nothing. As Frazier say, the more you think, the less you do, the less you do, the more you think. <laughs> my favorite thing, if I didn't get anything else out of 90 day social media run, it's stuck in my head. <laughs> I love it. Valencia, can you hold that up by your face and let's see if it focuses oh, in? Let me see. Um, well, hold on. Let me, I think I have blurry on because I'm actually sitting on my bed, but hold on, let me fix it. <laughs> see, can you see it now? Yes, but put it in front of the camera. You're kind of right side. So there it is. So I just have like, because I typically am a late person like Robin. So I go live, I go to dinner, and then from like 9 30 to 12, 12 30, I do all of my messages and all of that. And you'll be surprised how many people respond back to you at that time of the night. But needless to say, and then I just have like kind of what my things are for I want to do for that particular day. Excellent. Thank you for sharing that. I appreciate You're that. Welcome. Valencia, you. where did you get that? The paper. And Canva. So if you go, if you have the Canva app, they are, I do pay for Canva, but I believe these are all free. If you go into Canva and you type in schedule, they have calendars, they have all different time. I wanted one where I could do like hours by hours uh, to plan out my day. So you can get these sheets. I kind of changed the color. It may be brown or something on Canva, but you can um, download all different kinds and then you can print them off or fill them out on your computer. Totally up to you. I just printed them off because it's easy to write and keep up with. For Thank me. you. Thank you You're so welcome. much. And I have to agree with you writing stuff down. Mm -hmm. I've been doing that since June 7th. It's helped so much me gain a lot of stuff done that I didn't think I could. So writing stuff yeah. down down yeah. does help <laughs> totally agree yeah so try it out Kara is it Kara or Kyle? yeah yeah Kara. Kara. okay yeah so try it out Kara thanks Robin for bringing it up thanks. really good well, at the end of the day like when you look at that list like you just out to me I just feel last night when I looked at everything that I'd accomplished yesterday I was just, I felt good about myself yeah absolutely can I can I confess a little something? Yes. Sometimes I write things down that I, like breakfast. Make sure you have a protein drink a day. Make sure you do that are easy to check off because it's really fun. <laughs> <laughs> or something yeah. like make your bed, you know. Yeah. Because it's good to have those check offs. So give yourself credit of things that you do. You know, we pass those by that aren't important, but they're important. Mm hmm. Shower. I could put have a, a soda in the morning by <laughs> noon and <laughs> I'm gold. <laughs> oh, I love it. You're the best. Well, thank you very much. I'm missing those people on Facebook. I apologize because I kind of got out of that screen for some reason. I don't know what I did, but thank you for joining us. I appreciate it. Go get those new releases today. I'm excited. Time blocking. You can even Google it. And there's lots on Google too that you can find, Kara. So. Thank you so much for being here. We'll see you tomorrow. Same time, same place. You are the 0.111% of the paparazzi. Don't forget it. You are amazing. You can do this. Change your world. Seven days. Set aside seven days from right now. Decide what you're going to do and change it. Love you. Love you guys. Thank you guys. Bye-bye.